It's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. Christmas? Yes. Keep being good, and all the eggshells and coffee grounds will be yours. Can I meet the family? You've overstepped. No Christmas. <laughs> oh, no. My hairless twin got out. Hello, family. Let's eat all the garbage we want. We, the jury, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty. Yes. What the hell? What? Maybe we should get new roommates. Yeah, maybe we should. Did you like that game of mysterious intruder, Lois? I told you! I don't know who you are, and my name isn't Lois. Mine is. Do it again. Hey, bruh? Yeah? Ah! Damn it! Ah! There's glass in my eye! Oh! Son of a bitch! Ah! Mom says dinner's at six. She wanted me to tell people. I don't know why. Step forward, maggot. Ah! Next time, that'll be you. Well, why wasn't it him this time? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, ah, oh, ah, Peter, stop it! Yeah, you're real big when you got that stick, ain't you? Okay, I'll stop now. Timmy, where's Lassie? She's out in the orchard, Ma. Peaches are coming in mighty early this year. Smoke. You know what they say, Timmy. Early peaches, long summer. Smoke. What's that, Lassie? Are you smoking yet? Are you okay? No. I came in with my wife and now I can't find her. Oh, I'm sure she's here somewhere. Come on, I'll help you find her. Okay. Will Lois Griffin please come to the courtesy booth? We have a little gift for you. <laughs> I I'm Lois. Oh, for God's sakes, Peter. Yay, Lois! Another afternoon fucking that ass. Vegan places aren't real, right? No, they're not real. Or are they? Ah, salad! Ah! Ah! I want you two to do it right in front of me, and I'm gonna throw 40 bucks on your sweaty bodies when you're done. Let's see the money. Hey! Do you have any idea what time it is? Get in the house, fatty! Looking good. Almost done. And... There. Done. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. Relax, Lois. I was aiming for the mailbox. I'm just trying to make a point. Good morning, Lois. Ah! Peter, for God's sake! I am so sorry, Mort. No problem, Lois. That's just how people say hello to me. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mort. Let me get in that belly. Let me get that belly. I'm gonna give you a flubber kiss. Flubber belly. Pork belly's the way. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I got a little nervous. It's just I like you so much. Hi, Dad. Oh, what the hell? Come here, Hillary. Get out, man! Get out of the kitchen! Go on! Get out! 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 Out of the kitchen! Go on! Look, Stewie, come on. You don't know how to use that thing. Oh, really? What if I hold it sideways like a black guy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. Take it easy, all right? I, I don't want any trouble. There's not gonna be any trouble as long as you eat my poo. Okay, the fishing boats will be in soon. We'll fly behind them and scream like hell, and whatever they throw overboard, we get to eat. Um, you think maybe we should just get our own food? 
I mean, you know, we, we have beaks, we can swim. Instead of scrounging off of others, maybe... Can, we... I, can, I, can I see you for a minute? What was that? What was that? Oh, you you, you want to be a hawk? Oh, no. Is that what you want? Because you're not. No. All right, you see any clutching talons down there? No, we I have know. web feet. I know. Well, what are you going to do, paddle your food to death? Oh. You're going to find a little field mouse and paddle him to death with your web feet? No, look, I just thought... You that... thought? You thought? How's that working out for you? Not very well. Not very well. Land ho! Where? Where? Psych, made you look loser. Good thing there wasn't land, or else you'd have to meet the natives with that mustard stain on your shirt. What stain? Ah, ah! Why did I even bring you on this trip? Because I'm the best damn land spotter in all of Europe. It's true, you are the best. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that. We've now reached a cruising altitude. If you look out the window, you'll see the Rocky Mountains. Ah! We have to get out of here. All right, you girls ready? What's going on? <laughs> Don't you laugh at it! Knock it off! <laughs> cut, no, cut it off! Stop it! I deserve to relax, too. Spidey, can you swing us across with your web? No, I can't swing you across. And it's Spider-Man, not Spidey. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call you Spidey. Yeah, close friends. What's your name? Peter. Hey, Petey, do stuff for me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like it. You're a fat nobody and I'm Spider-Man, so how do you think I feel? <laughs> put the dog out. The dog's crying. Can someone put the... Lois, can someone put the dog out? I'm trying to read. <laughs> ah, what the hell? What's the matter with you? Did an ambulance go by or something? Yeah, look at this. Stop oh, that. Oh, yeah, you don't like this. Stop huh? it. Yeah. Stop this, doing that to my carpet. What Benji would do. Hey! Yeah. Knock it oh, off. Oh, boy, that feels so Stop good. Stop it. Stop that it. That feels so good. Gambling is illegal in this town. Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? I'm not really sure. Kind of waiting for you to exhale. Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. Zap! 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 What the? Oh, why? How'd you learn to do that? The question isn't how I do it. It's how I forgive myself for what I've done. You're there. You're there. I couldn't hear you. The radio was too loud. Are you a pedophile? I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. What the? What the hell? How do you like it? Huh? How do you like it? Peter, what in God's name is this? Wait a minute. Are, are these pieces of Stewie's crib? I hate it here. Bye! 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 What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God. It's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling! I'm boiling! Yeah, now I'm gonna stick my raw pasta in you. Don't move! Hold it! Freeze! Stop! Wait! No! Oh, for God's sake, why? This is why! Oh, no, no! Doggy out! What? Out oh, afuera! I live here! No, no, afuera! But look, I'm trying... Ah! Hola? Yes, could you please put Brian back on? No, no, do doggy afuera. You're the new housekeeper, aren't you? See. Si. Listen, I don't want to point fingers, but I'm missing about a thousand dollars in play money. I take. Uh, what? What? You you took it? See. Si. We'll give it back. Come get, bitch. Peter, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at Old Man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you gonna get in on this? Hey, uh. Kinda got my own game going on over here. Chris, do you remember your job? To try and get my shoes sucked into the escalator so we can sue them all. That's right, sweetie. I heard they're paying 50 grand a toe now. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> the train. Now that was the way to travel. You remember that, Chris? Not at all. Well, what about that guy in the front? He's a grown-up. He's the conductor. I don't see no orchestra. That's a different kind of conductor. Okay, well, if he's the conductor, why don't he have electrical tape wrapped around him for safety? Also a different kind of conductor. All right, thanks for joking around with me. We're going to go check out the rest of the mall. 
What's going on with you, man? That's a human being. Sorry, sorry. My buddy sent me a bunch of Romanian porn, and now every girl I look at, I imagine throwing onto a table. Yeah, that wasn't really the backpedal I expected. Hi, I'm Brian. Hey, I bet lots of millionaires come in here and hit on you all the time, huh? <laughs> do we? Do we do we do that a lot? Yeah, I guess it happens sometimes. Did you want to look at something? Already am. Hey, can I try that on? Good taste. That's our nicest men's ring. And I'll take your number. Here you go. Call me. What the hell are you doing? That ring is ten thousand dollars. Relax, Dewey. All I have to do is bring the ring back when she's not working. I'll get a refund, and she'll never know. It's a perfect scam, like Teddy Roosevelt getting to be on Mount Rushmore. I won the Revolutionary War. I won the Civil War. I gained possession of Guam. Nah. Nom 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 nom. Come on, Peter. It's time to go home. Not now, Lois. I'm making ladies feel good. Peter, I've been on my feet all day. Let's go. I'd stop, but Catherine Zeta-Jones big hands are on the back of my head. You know what? Forget this. We're leaving. You'll find your own way home. <laughs> What? Throat cancer? What? Oh, hey, how do you like my blowout? I'm pulling down so much charge, it's insane. I don't... I'm... Yuck. Lois? Oh, no. I'm alone and lost in the mall. I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb. And I turn around, and I don't know what happened to my wife. And now I'm all alone, and I'm just so scared. Okay. Do you want to go look for your wife, or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. When I find her, I want her to go, wow. Lois! Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Well, I've looked everywhere. Maybe she left. Paul Blatt, if you're out there, I could sure use a miracle. Choo-choo! All aboard the Ladybug Express! Ah! Help! Ah! Help! Holy crap! Ah! 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 Wait! Don't close the wall! Like an actual Amtrak train, this is dangerously out of control! That's legally defensible, by the way. On your screen is a list of actual rail disasters. Good morning, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, the secret to remaining upbeat after getting an elderly waitress. But we begin with breaking news from the Quahog Mall, where a local fat man was stuck overnight on a child's train. Yes, quite an ordeal for Quahog's Peter Griffin. So, Mr. Griffin, you were going around in circles for 12 hours. Are you suffering any ill effects from the centrifugal force? The wind on my skin is like knives. Oh my god, Bonnie, are you watching the news right now? Yes, I'm so sorry about Peter. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. But did you see that sweet new piece of ass, Dallas Portland? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask my index and middle finger? Peter, move. We need the TV. Is this... is this a coven? No, we're watching the news. Now get out of the way. We had a bottle of wine and a joint at Bonnie's house, and we want to watch Dallas Portland before the buzz wears off. Your chicken heads are out of control. <laughs> Yoga for men? Yes, says the inventor of Broga. I oh, feel like I'm cheating on Tom Bergeron. That's who you're all excited about? That chiseled Adonis with eyes the color of Summer's first blueberry? I don't know about none of that, but look at that bulge in his shorts. I've never seen a bulge in the front of a man's pants before. You see that, Peter? That's the right amount of leg hair. My leg hair's fine. I have what they call the Irish wisp. So, Peter, where are your boyfriends tonight? Lois and all of her friends are drooling over that new news guy. That Dallas Portland's a jerk. Don't even say that name. Getting out of that windstorm that screwed up my hair and loosened my tie, but also trying to forget how mad I am at Dallas Portland. You and me both, pal. That Dallas guy sucks. Why, what's your problem with him? Eh, my wife's been creaming her spinach over him. Yeah, tell me about it. Since he arrived, our ratings have skyrocketed. They're grooming Dallas, which means I'm on my way out. What? But if Dallas Portland's on TV every night, my life's gonna be a living hell. You and me both. Without the news, I... I don't know who I am. But what can you do? He's the flavor of the month. But wait a minute. Maybe if we work together, we can solve both our problems. What do you mean? Well, if he's the hot young thing and everybody loves him, all we gotta do is make you hotter and younger and thinger. And then they won't need him. 
All right, Tom, if you want to be young these days, you got to do a wicked awesome GoPro skate video. Almost time for the news. Mind if I join you? I thought you hated the news. Developing story. <laughs> I like it now. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Quahog. I'm Dallas Portland. And I'm T. Homie with the news in your mouth. What the hell's he doing? He's crushing it. News bomb! <laughs> I know what you're thinking, right? He's so random. Boy, I never realized how young and hip Tom Tucker is. Dallas Portland should just pack it up and go home. Tom's about to tattoo the word Coachella on the bridge of his nose. Is that a thing? Uh, I don't know, Grandma. I sit back and walk. Ah, he got his eye. What's wrong with you, Dallas? Never seen a guy so young and cool before. <coughs> Tumblr! <laughs> Scares. We'll be back after message from state-run industry. Peter, you were the one who told Tom Tucker to try all that nonsense on TV? You realize you cost that man his job. Well, how was I supposed to know? Katie Couric went on TV and stuck a tube up her butt and they threw her a parade. That was a colonoscopy. This is kind of your fault, you know. I mean, you're the one who was drooling over that Dallas Portland. I was just trying to get that guy off the air. Peter, that's ridiculous. He's just some pretty boy who doesn't mean anything. <sighs> you're right. Poor Tom. Thanks to me, he's fallen even further than Charlie Rose. Today on CBS This Morning, we'll be talking about how much sleep you need to not be drunk from the night before. That's not what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What the hell do you want? I'm here to say, I'm sorry about what happened. Let me make it up to you. I'm the one who made you lose your job. I'll find you a new one. Don't bother. I'm washed up. Everyone saw what I did. And besides, I... I can't do anything else. I was born to be a newsman. I, I want to help you get back on your feet. Go home, Peter. You've already done enough. Thanks to you, it's over for me. Like Billy Zane. Sorry I let you down, Tom. Oh my god! Look! I'm on the roof! Holy crap! Doritos Tacos is only for a limited time? And oh no! Tom Tucker's gonna jump! Tom, I got here as fast as I could. So, so what's, what's going on? It's over for me, Peter. If I can't anchor the local news, I have no reason to live. Look, Tom, Tom, before you do anything crazy, you should know one thing. I have that exact same bathrobe. Hey, Tom, the camera's gonna be on you in a second. What the hell are you doing here? What am I doing? Getting an interview with a crazed jumper on the brink of suicide. This is huge! Wait a second. You heard wrong, Dallas. There's a jumper here, but it ain't Tom. It's me. What? That's right. Tom was just trying to talk me down. And if there's a news story here, the only one I'm giving it to is Tom Tucker. Good evening, Quahog. This is Tom Tucker atop a roof where a local crazy person is preparing to end it all. Bonnie, Tom Tucker's back on the news. Oh, here you are. Tom Tucker's back. I know. Uh, tell us, crazy person, why are you doing all this? I'll tell you why. I'm doing this because I ruined a guy's life. And I feel awful about it. It's the only thing I can think of to make things right. I think I speak for all our viewers when I say, don't do this. Please, come down off this ledge with me. You got it. If that's what the most trusted newsman in Quahog wants. <laughs> ah, pigeon! Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's fine, he landed on people. Wait, wait, hang on a second, Shelby. I can't hear you over my brokers. Buy! Sell! Buy! Buy! Wow! Buying and selling? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll see you Saturday. I better go. My helicopter's here. Fadoo, 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 fadoo. Are you still... By the way, you have no idea what a helicopter sounds like. Are you still keeping up this charade? Yeah, but it's perfect. Shelby's already off work, so I'll just grab the ring, and we can bring it back before they close. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it. What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy more. Oh my god, this can't be happening! Chris, that was a diamond ring! Do you know how expensive that was? I'm sorry, Brian. But don't worry, it'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then POW! Yay, like at a sleepover! I love you. You're loved. Why are we at a health food store? Well, we gotta get that ring out of you. 
And this is a place where people buy disgusting cereals to help them poop. Well, which one should we buy? I don't know. Let's ask. Are there any gray-haired lesbian art teachers who can help us select a fiber cereal? This won't take long. We know your large dogs are tied up outside. <laughs> All sex is rape! All sex is rape! When I first joined this cause, I was just trying to get this guy to poop. But now, we're this close to getting sex outlawed in the United States! <laughs> All right, Chris, nothing's gotten that ring out yet. That's why we brought you to this fast food roast beef restaurant. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Angus steak melt. I'm sorry, are you here to poop something out? Yes. Okay, this line is just for regular diners. You need to get in that line. Excuse me, is this the line for people who need to puke something up? I think this is just the poop line. Cheers. You know what restaurant we're talking about. I don't know what else to do. We've tried everything. Brian, the jeweler closes at six. You don't have much time left to return that ring. You're right. You know, Brian, this wouldn't have happened if you were just honest with women and had an ounce of integrity. Don't pull rank on me. You ate a ring, you worthless tub of crap. Yeah? Well, who's gonna be fishing through a tub of crap soon, you unemployed butt munch? Whoa, whoa, let's calm down, guys. Shut up, you unemployed butt munch! Okay. Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come join us. Oh, okay. I faked my own death once. <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. But we welcome all of God's children in their hour of need. Well, actually, I think we need it for more than an hour. Or do we, right, Lois? <laughs> I, I do not last very long. Look at this, Cleveland. Front of the bus, back of the bus, middle of the bus. You guys are doing great. So I'm going to measure your penis, and then I'm going to measure my penis, and we're going to see whose is bigger. Doesn't really seem fair. All right, let's see what you get. Stupid game, anyway. I have to say, Peter, I am impressed by how much you have committed yourself to Islam. Are you kidding? It's awesome. I even started wearing leather sandals with way too long toenails. See how the big ones are getting yellow? Ah, yes. Very Muslim. We did it! We found the treasure! You know what, Peter? Why don't you open it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll open it. Here, hold this. Well, then sell the cow, and be sure you get real money for it. What else would I get? I don't know. Magic beans? There are magic beans? I don't know. Who cares? Well, what's magic about them? Don't get magic beans, you idiot. What? I, I never even freaking heard of magic beans till you said them. If I do get them, it's you what caused it. Oh, come on. I'm supposed to go into town and sell this cow. Oh, you're selling that cow? I don't have much, but I'll give you some magic beans for it. <gasps> That's exactly what I was supposed to get. I said not magic beans. Look, well, let's just admit we both kind of got our wires crossed and commit to being clearer in the future. Well, looks like it's just you and me, Shadow. Hey, Peter, my kid's selling Girl Scout cookies. And we're collecting for Janet's pregnant. Softball sign-up? Trick or treat for UNICEF? Oh, pitch in for Ed's retirement cake? Oh. Holiday party? Whoa. Oh. Company picnic? Oh. Secret set? Oh. Carpool info? Oh, finally! Now I can get myself to the... Uh-oh! So it, it, was, it was just your medicine, huh? Well, I guess I can understand that. You know, I'm addicted to nasal spray. I smell everything! I'm invincible! I'm probably gonna be a little down until I use the spray again. In Greece, it was commonly held that one could speak to the gods from the top of Mount Olympus. We should probably go there. What do you mean, gods? There's more than one? Yes, Peter, Greece is polytheistic. Quick, Peter, say something so he thinks you know what he's talking about. Words. Yeah, you get it. Man, how the hell am I gonna quit smoking? I wish smoking could just quit me instead. Thank you for meeting me here. I have something very important to tell you. I have something important to tell you, too. Peter, 
I think we should see other people. Okay. Uh, good. That's what I was going to say, too. I thought you liked working at the toy factory. Hell no. I always wanted to be a podiatrist. Thanks to you, Dr. Griffin, my bunion is healed and I can walk without pain. This isn't a joke. I once had legitimate aspirations. Jack? 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 Jack. What is that? Hey. Me? Are you going to open this door or am I going to start killing people? I'm not opening it. Excuse me, I'd just like to ask the mom behind me who told me to stop watching Game of Thrones on my laptop if I'm still the worst person on this plane. You, fat guy, get up here! Ah! Ah! Last chance. Now, what the hell? Where's your ski mask? It's kind of hard to breathe in those things, so I just dressed up like Harry Potter. <sighs> All right, let's go. Lois, if anything should happen to us, I want you to know I haven't been happy for a long time. Yes, Peter, you've told me that like ten times. All right, all the lights are out. They must be asleep. It's go time. Now, what the hell was that? That's what you do, Lois. Okay, now take this walkie-talkie and confirm that I'm at the various checkpoints. Ah, uh, okay. Peter up on a telephone pole? Check. Peter cutting the wires to the alarm? Check. Sexy Peter distracting the guards? Check. Hello, boys. Come up and have sex with me sometime. Van full of Peters who all have stern faces because they're about to pull off a heist. Check. Upside down, Peter, who isn't revealed to be upside down until the camera spins around and shows that he is. Check. Peter in an open airplane door, slapping other Peters on the back as they parachute out. Go, 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 check. Super gymnastic Asian Peter, contorted into a box that will be delivered into the house. Hey. Peter, who hasn't answered because something has gone terribly wrong. Peter? Peter, are you there? Now, let's go get that kid. Okay, he's in the left upstairs bedroom. All right, you keep the car going in case there's trouble. All right, I got him, Lois. Peter, what the... That's not Scotty! That's Ben! Oh. Well, you know, we ain't known this family that long. I'm still learning everybody's names. Damn it! Put him back and go get Scotty, the baby! Okay, so I'll go get the baby, and while I'm doing that, maybe you do something about that snatchy tone. Lois, is this the right one? Shh, Peter. Yes. Now, come on. What was that? I don't know. It came from Scotty's room. All right. We did it. Yes, we got the kid and the treasure. Peter, there's no treasure. Oh, well, never mind then. Oh, my God, Joe, there's a man on the wing. Peter, there's no man on the wing. There is. I saw him. Peter, stop being ridiculous. I'm telling you, lift up the shade. There's a man on the wing. <sighs> Fine. It's me. I'm the man on the wing. Peter, how the hell did you get out there? Are you crazy? Get back in here, Peter. What the hell's going on back there? We're losing altitude. Cotty Jennings. Oh, my God. I know she was upset, but... Do you think Lois would have gone so far as to kidnap him? Of course she did. She'll do anything for attention. I know. She's like the boy who cried wolf. Wolf! Wolf! Did you hear that? Somebody needs help! Let's go! Ah! Oh my god! Charles! Oh my god! I'll run and get help! No! No! We've got to carry him! We can't leave him here! There's a wolf! Um... There's not really a wolf. What?! Oh... My kids... I love him. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> this was so funny in my head when I planned it. <laughs> P. 
lucky that you left the flap open. It's like a thousand degrees in here, Lois. Close the tent now. It's freezing. Headline, Woman Cold. Aw, oh, look at the little guy. So peaceful. Hey, wake up. We got one more. <laughs> now, if this don't get you to sleep, nothing will. Cinderella by Nobody Remembers. Ever you have to do, Brian, but never let him know he's got talent. Yeah, you're right. It won't be so hard. After all, I've certainly done worse. I replaced Peter's I Can't Believe It's Not Butter with real butter. But, what? But, I, I can't, I can't believe. <laughs> I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. No way, those guys have a TV in their car. <laughs> They're watching Operation Dumbo Sex with Don Nuts. Professor, you've got to impregnate this elephant or the entire species will become extinct. You mean I gotta put this thing in that thing? Well, this is a job that's not worth the money. Peter, watch the road. Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. I swear to God, sometimes I think your head's screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Crashy. What are you doing down there? 